Ladies and gentlemen, the President and the First Lady of the United States of America. Good morning and hello students of America. It is a great privilege for Michelle and I to speak with you this morning. Because in the words of Whitney Houston, I believe children of the future. Feed them well and uh, let them lead the way. Close enough. Listen, we are here because we believe that in order to get the best education, you first have to have the right nutrition. And that's why I champion the change to the new school lunch program. Yes, she did. Thank you. So with the changes now, you no longer have to worry about eating unhealthy meals and trying to squeeze your way into a desk. That's right. Now you can cram for important things like math or even mathematics. Bazinga. Seriously? <laughs> I thought I asked you to stop binge watching The Big Bang Theory. I can't help it. The TV on the Oval Office picks up a ton of defense satellites, imagery, and TBS, which, tell, which they tell me is very funny. Okay, that's enough from us. We would love to hear from you guys now. What are your thoughts on the new school lunch program? Yes, my name is Autumn Catlin. I'm a sophomore this year, and I'm very upset with the change. I thought you were for the freedom to choose, but you're taking away our choice. Picking between the worst and slightly worse than that is not a choice. While I understand your concerns, that is a first world problem. Uh, hello, uh, my name is uh, Matt Long. I am a senior and I'm not happy about this change, especially not during my senior year. My question though is directed to the president. Would the first lady serve this food to you and your family? Well, that's a tough one. How does the food taste? Uh, it doesn't really have a taste. What is the texture? Um. Something similar to a soggy chew toy for a small breed dog? Maybe a Pomeranian? Well then, Matthew. Yes, that is a perfect description of what Michelle would serve our family. I am a good cook. Would you like me to serve that at your school one day? Oh, that was wrong. Any other questions out there? Yes, I, uh, I have a question. I'm a high school teacher, and I asked for two packets of mayo the other day, and they refused to give me an extra one. Why is that? <laughs> well, sir, I uh, think that was for your own good. Uh, you look like you've made some poor eating choices in the past. Listen, my grandfather fought in World War II, so I could die fat if I wanted to. I am a grown man. If I ask for two packs of mayo, I should get... Two packs of mayo. Live from North Cobb, it's, it's Tomahawk, Tomahawk today! today! today. I'm your host, Nathan Boplan. <laughs> this is my first time getting to host Tomahawk, but being on stage has been a dream of mine since I was a freshman. I can't believe I'm actually here. I'm getting, I'm getting to follow in the footsteps of Lexi Medina, Florina Gerlach, and Kyle Renato. Renata. Uh, excuse me, Nathan, but I'm glad you're excited, but you know that this is a two-person show, right? I'm literally standing right here. I know, Casey, but it's been a dream of mine since I was a boy. Okay, you know you're still a boy.
But I am glad you're getting to live your dream. It's always good to see things that like to come true. You know, my dream is to one day. That's great, Casey. But we have a show to run. that people are dressing a little differently this week, even for high school. <laughs> but that's because it's homecoming, and one way to show your school spirit is to don on the attire of your favorite Disney character. And in addition to looking good for school spirit, you want to look good for homecoming, and that starts with a date. Of course, you have to be creative in your approach, or you'll probably end up staying home that night. Just make sure that your creativity is well placed. And now, your failed homecoming attempts. The decorator. I'm just gonna love this. Uh, wow, Nick, I don't, I don't even know what to say. I, I don't have a dress yet. The musician. All right, so the interesting thing about the Battle of Manassas was that it was like a, a big show, a spectator picnic, and they weren't expecting this huge. Mackenzie, I wrote a song and forgot to bring the song and my guitar. But it goes something like this Mackenzie, Mackenzie. <laughs> Mackenzie, will you go to homecoming with me, Mackenzie? Is Mackenzie in this class? Uh, no. The Desperate. Yeah, sure, totally. This guy just totally tried to ask me about Yes! Yes, I will! I thought you would never ask. Homebody home is going to be so much fun. And I actually already bought these shoes and they have this glitter thing on them. The direct approach. Nick, I've been wanting you to ask me to go to homecoming all week. So, will you go with me? I'm kind of going with Essie and... Essie can't go anymore with anyone. She's a little tied up with work right now. 999, 1000. Ashton? Oh, well then Nimsy it is. Friday night, guys, you get success. every guy, every Not coach. And the love is total crazy. recall, God, what we've studied, what we've learned. I pray more than that, God, you give us a heart that's united. I pray that you keep the, the, the focus clear. I pray, I, I pray, God, that we pick each other up. God, that we stand together, that we fight back to back, shoulder to shoulder, that we know that when we leave this time of prayer, God, that when we leave and we head onto that field, that we are one family. More than anything, help us to honor you in everything that we say and do tonight. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen.
make sure to download the Tribe app. You won't be able to catch me in the point standings, but you'll have a chance for cool prizes. And if you're going to all these events, you're bound to make some new friends and have a better all overall high school experience. Well, that brings this week's episode to a close. I have enjoyed the opportunity to be a part of the rebirth of a legend. And Casey, I hope that you will forever remember this moment of being with me in the rebirth. I know I will. Ugh, somehow, I don't think I'll be able to forget it. Anyways, please check us out on social media this week. Be sure to send us any ideas that you have about what you want to see on the show. Maybe we'll use them. Maybe we'll, you know what, just reach out. Have a great week, everyone. Bye.